All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's do this. Oh. That's good. If I have like, what if I have, if I have like, um, raw in the graveyard, bro. Bro. <laughs> Phantom Chaos, but I think it was like ultra rare when it first dropped. Again, that's another one that may, might be common. I want to kind of protect the Temple of Kings because I can't play Mystical Beast without it. Unless I have like that March of the Monarchs to negate this effect. So I don't want to. That's why I'm not going to play Temple of Kings this early. We really want to just play that when you need to play the cards that revolve around it. I, because with Twin Twisters and things like that. I don't have Judgment Anubis to protect it either. Oh, Jesus in heaven. Despia. Oh, see, Albaz. Or well, some branded dragon's going to hit the field. That's what we got. Mm-hmm. I mean, in one turn, they can destroy you. And Lord help you if they get the first turn and get the combos going, then they paralyze the field. And it's like, oh, now it's your turn. What, what, what can you do? Branded fusion is activated. No. I tell, well, here, here, here comes a branded dragon right now. It's probably that ice blade dragon that everybody brings out. Typical Despia player, right? Let's see. What else would he be bringing out? I bet you said darn stupid mirror blade, ice blade dragon, whatever the heck. Here he comes. Oh, there's Albaz. Nope. The second boss, the Searing Dragon. He didn't bring out the big boss yet. He brought the second one. The underboss. What? Okay. Yeah. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and see what you grow. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.